I am here with the zoos of Berlin, or 50% of the zoos of Berlin. We'll do a roll call. Ready? Trevor? Daniel? No, not present. No. Colin? Nope. Will? <laughs> That's uh, me. <laughs> Let's see, oh, and as you can see, we are in the zoos of Berlin, yes. recording live there. It's live, so don't, <laughs> don't, don't worry about all those editing cuts. Now, I, I totally, when I, I heard it, I what was totally... What are we looking at right now? <laughs> oh, it's a, uh, uh, um... Mongoose. Mongoose, It's yeah. a German mongoose. German mongoose. Kills cobras. So, guys, uh, what was something you learned while recording this album? Taxis? Yeah, taxis. Taxis. Um, patience. How to build things. Uh, a few of the members definitely did more of the... the <laughs> I mean, the, the, we, we there was a lot of grunt work involved. Yeah, and, we did the like, least of it, especially me. <laughs> um, but for a good week before we actually got to recording, we had the space rented and then... You know, there was mopping and sweeping. It was 5,000 square feet, so we had to get it sort of clean enough to... Oh, well, one thing, one interesting part about that space is because it's so huge, like, um, you could walk into the center of the space and, and try to have a conversation with someone who was literally, like, five feet away, and it was so echoey and everything was reverberating so much that you could literally not hear very well at all. And we try to make it as, as the term is dry, as dry as possible. Mm -hmm. And then there's some more liquidy. So you're playing, um, write this down on your calendars, you guys are playing uh, Science Rocks Yeah. Thursday, uh, November 19th at the Detroit Science Center. And you're playing a alternate soundtrack to the IMAX film, The Alps. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, we still haven't watched that yet. So. Yeah. <laughs> What should we look forward to from your performance at the Detroit Science Center? Uh, I think it will be epic, mind-blowing, pastoral. Oh, <laughs> I like it. So I don't know if you guys heard the, uh, the, the health care bill passed in the house. Right. Yeah. So uh, what's the first major surgery you're going to get after universal health care happens? <laughs> Breast augmentation. Who do you think are some of the more underappreciated bands at the moment? Uh, well, I, I don't. I wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily say they're underappreciated, but Serenity Court is really incredible. I believe like, they're playing their last show coming up, though. Did you see that? Uh, As always, I like to give a shout out to uh, Great Lakes Myth Society, who uh, we're also playing with in a few weeks. But yeah. regardless of that, uh, their first album, especially from a few years ago, is like mm -hmm. one of my favorites of the decade. Uh, really, they really should have a lot more national yeah. recognition for sure. I reviewed your album on Motor City Rocks. I, I really love you guys' album. It's like, I listened to it and I was like, holy fucking shit. How long is it until Zoos of Berlin is in a car commercial or a cereal commercial? <laughs> uh, well, wait, wait. Well, Depends you know, on what cereal. I mean, can we... <laughs> we'll have to right, take some down, we're, right? No, we won't. We're going to sell only for Only Takashi good friends. <laughs> <laughs> only cereal. Now with more twigs. <laughs> <laughs> can you guys give us the pose that you're going to be on the cover of the Kashi box with? Well, Probably we'll should be put on this now and I'll be a woman. And then <laughs> it's like, so you got to look that way. And then I'm kind of holding your shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I don't know what we're doing right now, but... Who has better socks? Trevor always has better sax. Right. You can't see him on the camera. All right. So, um, would you guys be willing to do a, a comic book? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> would you guys want to fight crime, or would you want to solve more urban? No, issues? I think it, it would be it would be very surrealist and everything. Yeah. Pe people would get to the end of it, and then they realize that they hadn't started it yet, or something. Like that. <laughs> in our, in our, you know. We always want to ex expand our merch table. But. <laughs> Who does your uh, album and promotional art? I, I do, yeah, all most of it. All, all of it. it. Yeah. Excellent. Trevor. It looks very nice. Thank you. We like, we like keeping things in-house. Yeah. Maybe more out of necessity, but we've got <laughs> different band members with different talents, and we all kind of mm -hmm. put to use. Trevor does the art. Colin. Who art fixes the van when it breaks down? We don't have a van. If you guys were to do motorcycles with sidecars, Colin and Dan would be <laughs> in, the, uh, in the sidecars, right? We're all pretty tall, so it would be a tough call. We've, we've yeah. said before we're the tallest band in Detroit. Colin would Ooh. never be in a sidecar, I can tell you that. Yeah. <laughs> He's a very dominant personality. Yeah. Really. 
Which instruments did you play in high school band? I can answer that. Go for can it. Can you? Uh, Are you in the band? No, well, I guess it depends. Good. Okay. Did Some you play schools? oboe? Is it something? Were you in a high school no. band or not? No. I'm Why are you evading the question? Why are you evading the question? I did play acoustic guitar in the choir. Oh, okay. that's pretty sweet. Yeah. yeah. I played piano in the jazz band. I wasn't. Ooh. I couldn't get in the real band. I was also in the choir. There you go. Um, as a band, how many UFOs have you seen? They're collectively. collectively. Yeah. When I was a little kid, I was really into UFOs and yeah, really believed in it when the X Files came out and all that. And uh, just say I feel like I've I, only ever seen one, like truly believe that I saw something that was <laughs> mm -hmm. unlike anything. Ever. There was one point where I convinced myself I had seen three, but now I realize those were none of those were okay. anything remarkable. <laughs> I saw a giant white. It was a spiraling ball coming yeah. towards me and my grandmother. Well, that's good. Was it at night or day? It was at night. Yeah. yeah. I don't know what it was. What what city were you in or what area? It was Detroit. Detroit? I don't believe you. Did I really write that question? So uh, what's the best way to get all the different uh, subsections of music fans to broaden their horizons? Open for all their favorite bands would be the... <laughs> it's true. Be the easiest yeah. way. Yeah. Like I... <laughs> We like we would have to like... open for the Jazz Bows favorite band. And the... <laughs> <laughs> that would be fun. I wouldn't call them Jazz Bows when you right. open. <laughs> hey Jazz Bows, listen to this! <laughs> uh, which visual artists do you find most inspiring? Ooh. For me it ended with Calvin and Hobbes, so... I mean, right now... Chris Ware always really blows my mind. Max Ernst is a... A big inspiration. Um, I love Polish movie posters. <laughs> I went to a cat show at, at Gibraltar Trade Center. Cat show? Yeah. Um, it was a, a cat show. Why didn't we cover this? <laughs> it was a couple of years ago. It was really incredible. And, and I don't know if everyone says this about like animal owners, but like mm. the owners did look like the animals and yeah. vice like, versa. It was, <laughs> it was bizarre. Yeah, the facial structures and stuff. If Taxis was turned into a theatrical piece, which historic event would take place during the story? Or which, which piece of literature would be best adapted to it? Um, Paul Rubens being caught in the theater. Um, where's the best place to eat breakfast? I am really into the fly trap right yeah. now in Ferndale. Mm -hmm. I think it's mm. the best. But you've got, you've got another place. Cafe Muse. Okay. Detroit Breakfast House. Yeah, where's that uh, at? It's on. Um, is it on? Yeah, it's on Woodward. And then there's also La Petite Sank. It's a crepery. Ooh. <laughs> By Crepers. Corktown. It's very good. Trevor's a little more classy than I am. So. Yeah. yeah. Oh, but you know, you had a really good choice. Flytrap is great. I think he showed me up with your your breakfast place choices. Who would be? Uh, all right. Your fantasy interview. Aside from us. David Bowie. Really? Yeah. Never heard of him. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, so-and-so had a cat and it was named Zuza Berlin for some fucking reason. Hey Kevin, you want to start a band called Taxis and our first album will be called Zuza <laughs> <laughs> How dare you. <laughs> Look at us, on our sound stage. <laughs> Floating through space. <laughs> talk, talk about yeah. comic books all you want, but once you talk about intelligent things. From Sweden, best socks. Whoa! Really, there's wine in there? Yeah, it's wine. I, I do want a can of wine. Yeah? Yes. Alright, let's do it. I would love a can of wine. Okay. <laughs>